That's him. Wait for the brother. That package he's holding, that's what we need. Get that thing off the table. We're in public. Sorry. Hey, you think truck bounty hunters are real? What about bounty hunters? Like, uh, big rigs and semi-trucks. I don't know, my girlfriend constantly has a TV on and I catch this reality show where they hunt for stolen and lost trucks. I don't know. Never heard of them. I guess that could be a thing if missing trucks are really that big of an issue. Someone can make a living tracking them down. Yeah, I was in a gas station the other day and uh, this guy comes in. He asks about their dumpsters. He was wondering where they dumped their trash. Was he dressed in all leather and tatted up? No, he was well-dressed. Looked like he just came over from the office. Seems like bounty hunters or people who go through other people's shit in general come in all shapes and sizes. Okay. Why are you scared? I don't know. What? I don't know, it's just... How seriously do you take dreams? Why? I know that scientists say that dreams are your subconscious trying to work through some unresolved problem, but... I don't know if that's all they do. What the hell are you talking about? Do you ever have dreams where you're getting attacked? Yeah, of course. Recently I had this recurring dream where I was getting chased by that monster from that stupid dinosaur movie. I was trying to get off the island, but I couldn't. The thing just kept outsmarting me. It was too intelligent. In the end, I realized it was just my girlfriend's gecko. And? Do you think that had some kind of deeper meaning? No. No, I killed the bastard. The thing hated me anyway. I don't know, man. I just have these reoccurring nightmares. You remember going to Grandma's? In the summer? Yeah. Yeah, I was never really fond of that place. Neither was I. I was old and creepy. And before she put us to sleep, she used to tell us about- The Dark Man? Yeah. He lurks in the woods and waits for those to wander too far from the village. Said he would take their souls. Yeah, except this is the US and not 1642. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I keep having this recurring dream. In it, I'm sitting in a field with my back to the woods. I look over my shoulders and he's standing there. I get up to crawl away, but chains come out from under his cloak and he pulls me into himself somehow. It's like inside him there's another world. I end up in a hallway. And I look in one room and Grandma's there. It's covered in TVs, full of images of burning churches. I look in the next room, and you're there. Same TVs, except on yours are nature shows. Animals are murdering and fucking each other. At the end of the hallway, there's a room for me. Still covered in TVs, but mine are showing slavery. The one in the middle, so it's a train crashing over and over.
I don't know, man. I think I need out of this. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. I just have a bad feeling about everything. It's all them drugs you're doing. Come on. We have an appointment. Steady now. Don't do anything stupid, especially here. Follow them at a distance and be careful that they don't spy you. that up. Sorry, bro. Bad for business.
Who are you? Who are you talking to? Fine. Whatever. You know, you killed my brother, right? It really pisses me off. I'll deal with you later.
big deal. What the fuck are you talking about? Gianni? Hey, Gianni. I see you made it. Yeah, got the sword too. Good job. You can leave it. What? Or you could keep it. Doesn't really matter. Our client doesn't want it anymore. <laughs> You're kidding me. I'm afraid not. I would probably leave it though if I were you. It's too valuable to just have. Besides, I can get you a decent sword if you really want one. This is bullshit. I almost died. Yeah, that's the way things go sometimes. Come on back. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs>